evaluate the indefinite integral where we have the integral of sine of pi t dt. So in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to let u equal pi t. And so now what we're going to do is take the derivative of both sides. So we have du, which is going to equal the derivative of pi t is going to be pi, and that's dt. Okay, so now if you come back and look up here, okay, what we want to do is isolate the dt so that we can substitute. So we're going to divide both sides by pi. So divide both sides by pi. And so what we end up getting is 1 over pi du, which is equal to dt. Okay, so now in step 4, let's write out the integral. So we have the integral of sine of pi t dt. And now let's go ahead and do the substitution. So we determined that u was equal to pi t. So this is going to be the sine of u. And then what does dt equal? Well, dt equals 1 over pi du. So that's 1 over pi du. And now we're going to go ahead and factor out the constant, which is 1 over pi, times the integral, the sine of u du. Okay, and so now what is the antiderivative of the sine of u? So therefore, the antiderivative is going to be the following. It's 1 over pi times negative cosine of u plus the constant c. So now we're going to factor out the negative sign. So we have negative 1 over pi times the cosine of u plus c. And then what did we define u as at the beginning in step 1? Well, it's pi t. So therefore, it's going to equal negative 1 over pi times the cosine of pi t plus c, and therefore that is our result.